Mark, when you heard the president even just at this rally yesterday, which he attended rather than go to the correspondence dinner here in Washington, he continues to return to the, the familiar messages of immigration, but also the economy. I mean, the economy seems to be the thing that the Republicans are most confident about and that he wants to run on here. So is there a way for Democrats to puncture that? Well, I think, Lon, he got it that that's going to be the quandary for Democrats. The, the most recent economic number that came out late last week was really strong. Right. And I think it put to bed the idea that this is an economy on the cusp of a slowdown or perhaps even a recession. I think six months ago, a lot of Democrats thought that that's the election they were going to be running into. And that once you puncture the myth that Trump has a winning, winning economy, then all his other flaws become far more apparent. Now it looks like he may, in fact, continue to run with a strong economy. And I think that makes the Democratic uh, challenge a great deal harder. And I think that's why it was interesting last night at the rally. He could have gone a number of different ways. At previous rallies that coincided with the White House Correspondence uh, Association dinner, he's been very anti-press. He's, he's really given a very red meat speech. This, by Trump standards, was actually less red meat than we've seen and more focused on the economic record. He really went through it very methodically, very systematically, and I think that's because they recognize they have a fairly strong case to make. I mean, not